my good hair angels please surround me with your protection to keep the heat damaged demons away from me because they are not allowed in this circle To my channel i am naturally carlissa and today i have absolutely lost my mind why have i lost my mind you ask because i've decided that i'm gonna do another blowout and i don't know if you guys saw my last blowout video but i'll tag it below i'm gonna put a little clip in so you can see the struggles i went through so yeah that was that and that was my most viewed video on youtube and instagram why i don't know i guess people like laughing at my pain but so this time i'm actually gonna do something a little different um i got this revlon one step battle brush it's right here it's pink i'm gonna try it out um it has a cool low and a high setting i've already put leave-in in my hair i actually put leave-in in my hair when i washed it so while i was still in the shower somebody told me that that works really well so i tried it um i don't know if it works i this was my first time doing it. but i wanted to have my hair like as damp as possible so that it's not as wet and i don't have to use the brush for that long uh, before I really get started, if you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at naturally underscore Carlissa. have a lot more content on there. For my heat protection, I'm using OGX Silk Blowout Quick Drying Thermal Spray. It smells really good. Um, one thing I was told was to make sure that your hair is really detangled when you do this. I'm going to start on low, then I'm going to go to high. And then I'm going to seal my cuticles with cool. And then when I finish with my hair, I'll probably go back over everything with hot. I mean, with high and then do cool. So I'm just going to spray this section with some heat protectant. And before we get started, let me just say a little quick little prayer. My good hair angels, please surround me with your protection to keep the heat damaged demons away from me. Because they are not allowed in this circle. So protect me in this bubble. So that my curls will revert back and I can still be popping because I refuse to get heat damage to make content. It's not worth it. Amen. All right. So that was my prayer. So I don't know if I'm slow, but I feel like that took too many passes to get my hair dry. But it is silky smooth, smoother than it would be if I was to do it the way that I was doing it. So not going to complain on that. So let's get to the next section. Why is it raining? It's raining. And I'm doing a blowout. Somebody hates me. So I'm seeing smoke, but I was told that that's just the heat protectant working in. So I'm not going to worry about it. Because we already said our prayer. And can't nobody take that from us. Because ain't no demons in here. Ain't no heat damage demons coming up in here. Prayer works. So I'm not so much focused on the roots because I'm not trying to flat iron my hair. Like I don't want it to be super duper straight. I just want my hair to be blown out. And of course you're still gonna have your people that are like, but sis, that's too many passes. Oh my gosh, she has heat damage. Oh no. Don't worry about me. I got this. Don't worry about it. Now if I do get heat damage, then you can laugh at me for saying this. But don't worry about it. I got this. 
You, where, where you at? Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm just gonna do a little comparison real quick of the shrinkage from the front of my hair. That's crazy. That's crazy. Y'all see why I feel disrespected, right? You saw how small that piece was and look how much it is. All right, so let's see the damage. I can't even see myself. <laughs> and my cousin it, I look like cousin it. So this blowout is way better than the other one. I'm gonna go back over this with a, with some high, the high heat and then seal it off with cool just to get that dent that I put in my hair out. I definitely have underestimated myself. All right. Okay, so this is my hair. <laughs> my hair has definitely grown from the last time I did this. And I absolutely love how my hair is not like, usually when I do this, my hair is super big and dry, but with the technique that I was given from Natural Queen, that's one of my brand, I'm a brand investor for that. She actually gave me some the tip of going from high, uh, low to high to cool. And my hair feels really soft, doesn't feel dry. Um, it's more elongated than it usually would be. This is crazy. This is freaking crazy. I'm gonna turn around and see. I don't know if you can see all of it. Yeah, I'm insane. I love this blow dryer. Um, I definitely will be using it again. I separated each strand into each subsection. I had four sections, separated each one into three and did it like that. I think the reason why it took so long to blow dry when I began was because I put way too much leave-in in my hair. Um, and I thought my hair was damp, but it wasn't really damp. It was actually still a little bit wet. So it took me a little bit of time, but it, this took less time than it would have if I had a bare blow dryer or anything else. So this is an amazing investment. Um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do to this. So that's all I got people. I'm gonna make another video with how I'm gonna style this. Can't give y'all too much in one video, you know. Gotta gotta get some content. So, what y'all think? Have y'all tried that brush before? Um, what you think about it? Do you think you want to try it now? Did I do the most? All right, I'm gonna end this video. So, if you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm gonna put the link below for the video of my first blowout. So, compared to this one, this is definitely a cakewalk skate in the park and i'm not gonna get heat damage you know why because i said a prayer in the beginning if you say a prayer in the beginning you don't get heat damage so there's that so i'll see y'all in the next video